Some of you may have forgotten, I know I have all the time, that there's a new Karate Kid movie coming. <laughs> uh, no, it is, it is not the, uh, it's not a movie version of Cobra Kai. I'm not even sure if it's supposed to be in the same universe as the original Karate Kid movies at all, even though Ralph Macchio is in them. Well, and he's in it and Jackie Chan bringing in the other right. Karate Kid. So, I, like, does that mean the other Karate Kid actually happened in the same universe as the, I mean, I don't know. But one of the things that we do know right now is one of my favorite people in the business, Ming-Na Wen, is going to be starring in this. Now, of course, she was one of the stars of what I thought was the complete piece of garbage Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. show. Uh, but I know a lot of you guys like that show, and, and that's great. She's had a long and incredible career, and she's just exceedingly cool. But apparently, she is going to be in this new Karate Kid. This comes to us from Variety, who writes this. Ming-Na Wen has joined the cast of Sony's new Karate Kid film. Previously announced cast members include American-born Chinese star Ben Wang in the titular role, plus Jackie Chan and Ralph Macchio, who will reprise their characters from previous entries in the franchise. Joshua Jackson and Sadie Stanley will also star. Much like the film's plot, details of Wen's role are currently under wraps. The movie will be directed by Jonathan Entwistle, the creator of Netflix's I Am Not Okay With This and The End of the Fucking World. Peter Rabbit Rob writer Rob Lieber will pen the screenplay while Karen Rosenfeld will produce. Sony Pictures will release the film in theaters on December 13th, 2024. This movie's coming out in like nine months. In like nine months, this thing is coming out. And I, I guess they should obviously be going into um, production here pretty quick with them announcing, you know, all the casting and all that kind of stuff. So, look, I, I got to tell you, I'm a little bit confused by this because are they kind of suggesting that the original Karate Kid, that the Karate Kid redux that they did with Jackie Chan and uh, what's Will Smith's son's name again? Jaden. Jaden, that's it. Um, with Jaden Smith. By the way, I really like that film. I Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm going to say some real unpopular. I don't think he deserves the hate that it gets. I like it better than the original. Oh. <gasps> Hot take. I, yeah, I, I just, I really enjoyed it. I, I don't know that the original holds up as well. I know that's totally sacrilegious to say, but whatever. Man. I'm here to be honest with everybody. So, but like, are they just saying then it's a total coincidence that Ralph Macchio's, Daniel's relationship with Mr. Miyagi and the whole thing that, that 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 this Mr. Lee guy did the exact same kind of thing, and it's all just a coincidence. Now they're they're having an Avengers, a Karate Kid Avengers crossover, where like I I mean I don't know, I'm not quite sure. Listen though, I'm not gonna lie, I am also oddly curious about this film. I am oddly curious about it. Like I was like everybody else when it came to why are they making this? Like like. Uh, Cobra Kai is like really, po I don't really like Cobra Kai either myself, but everybody else does. Cobra Kai is super popular. And if I thought if you want to do a movie, why not just do a movie version of Cobra Kai? Or are they just trying to expand this Karate Kid universe or whatever? Will Jaden Smith come back as well? Are they going to use any of the characters from Cobra Kai? like some of Daniel's students or whatever, or are they going to pretend that Cobra Kai doesn't exist? Or like a lot of questions I have, guys, a lot of questions. But the adding of Ming-Na Wen to it gets me even more interested because like I said, I just, I think she's great. I love, I love seeing her and stuff. So uh, sign me up a little bit for it at least. We want to take a second and thank a sponsor of today's video, Factor. You know guys, some days it's great to prepare your own meal, but some days it's great to have wonderful, delicious meals already ready to go. Factor's delicious, ready to eat meals makes eating better every day easy. Wherever tomorrow takes you, be ready with pre-prepared, chef-crafted, and dietitian approved meals delivered right to your door. You'll have over 35 different options a week to choose from, including keto, calorie smart, vegan, 
veggie, and more. And there's even more to enjoy with over 55 nutrition-packed add-ons that help make your weekly meal planning even more delicious. So what are you waiting for? Get started today and have a feel-good week of meals ready to go. They've got snacks, smoothies, and more. Discover a wide variety of easy options for the entire day like breakfast, midday bites, and more. And guys, you get to save. We've done the math. Factor is less expensive than takeout and every meal is dietitian approved to be nutritious and delicious. So guys, head to factormeals.com slash campia50 and use the code campia50 to get 50% off. That's code campia50 at factormeals.com slash campia50 to get 50% off. Anyway, Chris, uh, you hear about this coming up. Where's your thought process on for this Karate Kid at all? What do you think about the addition of Ming-Na Wen? What do you think? Well, one, Mulan makes everything better. Okay. Oh, yes. You add Ming-Na Wen to something. Again, like Walter Goggins, we're classing the joint up. We're adding some class here. Add Joy Luck Club. I love her so much. I think she's wonderful. She even helped me get through Boba Fett. You know, I really enjoy her. This movie, I, I know a lot of filmmakers say that a film is their baby, but to try to execute one from start to finish in nine months, what a bold, bold thing to do. That gives me a bit of pause on this. But, you know, the Karate Kid franchise, as this article states, it's it's gross 16, uh, 618 million globally. So, of course, you would continue trying to mine this. The question for me, though, is much like you. Why not go with Cobra Kai? Why not go with something that has had this meteoric uh, rise to, to fame? I, I, people love that show. People adore that show. They're rabid for it. So I feel like, why wouldn't you focus on that story? Why would we go back and do this kind of multiverse of karate kids? Um, and if we are doing that, where's Hillary Swank? Justice for Hillary Swank. <laughs> Which one was she in again? Two. No, no, Hillary Swank wasn't in two. Wasn't she? Was she in three then? Well, no, I don't I think, know. She's, she she's in the one where four? the song You Gotta Be is the the closing track. Yeah, because no, I'm going to Google it. She was in four. Hillary Strank was in, in number four? four. That's what it is. Well, she was in number four. So anyway, Rob, your take on this whole thing. What do you what do you think about the movie itself coming up? What's your kind of perspective on why they're doing it? What do you think about the addition of Ming-Na Wen? Well, I hear Ming-Na Wen and I think, oh, my, yes. I've always thought that I'm a huge fan. I'm I'm a huge fan of hers. Get um, out of here. Uh, remember, Ming Na Wen, Fennec Chan, she has her own hot toy. She does. So that immediately she and it's a great hot toy. Um, and you put her on the the Boba Fett throne, you know, in Jabba's palace. It's pretty dope. That's a great display. Um, but I've really liked her, and I think that um, look, does the world need another Karate Kid movie? I mean, <laughs> We were just talking about how originality is what are what, what's giving people um, uh, joy at the box office. So, look, if anything can be good, if there's a good script, great characters and a great script, and and the film turns out to be great. I do feel like looking at a new Karate Kid movie is scraping the bottom of the barrel of a well trodden IP that doesn't have a whole lot of places to go that hasn't it hasn't gone already. So. I don't expect something that's going to be revelatory in terms of, wow, what a narrative. I can't believe we just saw that story. I mean, you know what I mean? I, I, I That said, there's got to be some reason that people want to put millions of dollars behind it. And oh, my, yes, as well. So I'll say that's okay for me. Bring on Fennec Hand. All right. By the way, I hated Book of Boba Fett like everybody did. But that last scene... At the end, what was it? Season two of The Mandalorian that ends with Boba yes. Fett sitting in Jabba's throne and Ming-Na Wen yes. coming in and like kind of sitting on the arm of the... That's, that's an awesome shot. I mean, I I would I don't have many hot toys, but I would buy that hot toy. That is one I would uh, take. There is one. You can get Boba Fett on the throne and you can get a separate Fennec Shand. I mean, those are, those are life goals to be sitting in that throne <laughs> to have Fennec Shand sitting next to you. I mean, I, that's, true. that's wish fulfillment right there, man. I'm telling you. Actually, you know what? I see a bunch of people in the live chat kind of bring it up, but why not Jaden Smith? Like, if, if you're bringing in Jackie Chan from that one, wouldn't it make sense? I mean, or or do you think this is just about, like, the new Miyagi figures, which would be Ralph Macchio and Jackie Chan? They're the new Miyagi figures. It's really focusing more on them. Or do you think we could find out that Jaden Smith may appear? Actually, what was the last thing Jaden Smith was even in? Let's I don't even it. know if he acts anymore. 
I'm not saying he doesn't. Well, I'm just saying I, I don't even know if he does or not. With Cobra Kai, I don't think we've seen a more effective shared universe that's gone back and mined its past better than that Cobra Kai TV series has. Yeah. So it wouldn't surprise me if somebody has a cameo, kind of like when uh, Lucas, was it Lucas Black, shows up in another Fast and the Furious movie honoring yeah. the drift, mm. bringing it back from the drift. <laughs> All right, guys, question is yeah. for you. What do you think about this? First of all, this uh, maybe some of you didn't even realize there was a new Karate Kid movie coming. I, I wouldn't blame you for that. And it's going to be coming at the end of this year. Like it's coming out in like 10, nine and a half months. And what do you think about the addition of Ming-Na Wen? I mean, whatever you think about a new Karate Kid movie, you can't be mad at the addition of her, can you? Anyway, whatever you guys think, jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.